Turn it up. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to build a Siamese cube, which is the cube that kind of looks like that. And it turns like this and stuff like that, except obviously it looks like this without, except this cube is like in this cube. So if I show you, it would be something like this. So it would be something like this. Obviously the sticky shades aren't right right now, but we'll fix that. So it's going to be like this and then you can turn these middle layers but you can't turn the layers like this so this creates some internal bandaging so you can only turn these layers this layer and and these layers so today I'm going to show you how to build it properly like the ones that you can find on the internet so just before we get on to what you need to make your Siamese cube, I'm just going to say that if you can hear anything in the background, it's either thunder or my parents making dinner, because I'm going to go to a dinner soon. And there's a lot. there's been a lot of thunder recently. So the first thing you need to do is find out what colour scheme you want. So my colour scheme is obviously going to be normal colour scheme thing. Oh yeah, and you need your sticker remover. So... Or like you need any sticker remover or, or like sticker remover or you can use your fingers too uh, or a knife works too so just something you can peel the stickers off so yeah I'll be back when I get my stickers Remove here you go it. got my sticker remover two of them I so need these probably don't need the thing in holder or the other razor so once you got all your things you just need a we just open this quickly. Okay, so got it. Oh, I can smell it. Quickly close that up. So the first thing you want to do is find your sticker scheme scheme, as I said. So my sticker scheme would be normal. So it would be like this. So you want your you would want your cube to kind of look like this, so when you look at the green side, it looks like this. And you look at the yellow side, this is obviously going to be merged, it'd be like yellow, so make sure you got that right. Now you have to look at which pieces you want to remove. So as you can see, the points of contact between th two cubes are here and here, like that. So, just take that row out on each cube. Ooh, so, taking out one by one then. Okay, whoops. Okay, then, so, just like so. So, take off this row too. Now, if you want to be sticky modding this puzzle, I will stop here for you just to tell you that. So, if you want to stick them on, I have, so, have heard some people want to stick them on like this with like orange here and red here, and maybe in half like that. I don't know. If you want to stick them on it so you can go diagonally right now, I would stop here, take off this row of stickers, take off this row of stickers so that you can turn it nicely when you turn like that and like that. So, let's take off these stickers on this row and then super glue it. Well, we'll get into that later for the other ones too. So, now let's take off this row on this cube. Okay. So, oh, just like that. So, you can just put on like that. Now that will be your final result looking like that. Obviously glued together and fully functional. So yeah. Oh man, it's raining now. <laughs> Sorry if you can hear that and the thunder. Whoa. Sorry. 
So, when you go like this, you see that when you glue it, you start turning it, you're going to be rubbing these pieces, or stickers. So that's why I have your sticker remover, and this, these stickers too when you move like this. So, you want to be removing those stickers. So as I said, it's just these stickers here. Let's remove these stickers. Whoa, these stickers are super hard to get off. It's not expecting nice these stickers to be so hard to peel off. So at this point, once actually I'll tell you once I got all the stickers off. So these are obviously the more thicker stickers. It's raining more now. It's quite heavy. Okay. Now the stickers just here for now. And last sticker. So at this point, if you have some sort of Rubik's brand with tiles, I mean, I don't know how to fix that problem. Like, I don't know how to take off the tiles of a Rubik's brand, so yeah, I don't know. But if you also have a Rubik's brand or something hard to pop, you get a flathead screwdriver and dig it in and pull it out. So at this point, it looks like my Guanlong, if you can see there has like uh, no real flash let's see if it'll focus, there you go there's no flash on my pieces so yeah so there's no goo sometimes you have goo you might need to get, obviously don't put super goo on it but some like goo remover, goo gone, I have that it's pretty helpful One when you need it um, so yeah, Goo Gone helps, or anything that removes goo from plastic things mostly. Um, uh, so yeah, so anything with Goo Gone on it, or remover, Goo Remover on it. So then here, now you can see that, put it together like so, Ooh, okay, like so. These stickers are gone. Now one more thing, these stickers. So blue stickers. Let me take them off. Get your sticker remover. This can be done with fingers or a knife. I just like using proper sticker remover. So obviously I know why Mo likes their thinner stickers on their L Long GT and their new cubes that they have that they use the thinner stickers with the better shades though but now I can tell why they like the thinner stickers no I like the thinner stickers better because now I know how much how annoying it is to take the take off last sticker Okay, there you go. So, stick is all gone. Have a look at it. So, I see no, no, um, goo. So, I don't need to use goo gone right now. That's good. And let's get back into it. So, now, see that there's no friction between stickers because I've got it like that. So, next, we're going to be using some super glue so for this step you'll just need some super glue and yeah that's pretty much it wash your hands it'll be handy if you have a clamp so the thing where like kind of like the end of a selfie stick you can push it out and squeeze these together but if you don't have one it's okay so what you need to do is get your super glue I'll zoom in for this one actually because it might be hard without zooming in. So there you go. Hope you can see that good. So let's quickly take this off. Let's cap off. Make sure you don't glue your fingers and make sure this is safe for you. Oops, wrong thing. There we go. And just squeeze some super glue. Whoa, that is some wet super glue. 
it's just there and on here just need to do some ooh, if you can see just need to do some on here okay now all you need to do is bond them like James bond them <laughs> together like so and squish squish okay so right now I'm gonna use one hand just so I can use the camera to zoom out Ooh. make sure the super glue doesn't go oh, just stand it did okay it is now it's getting on the outside of the cube like that so try and make sure it doesn't but if it does no problem. Oh, no, no way you can fix it. So just stick it together and hold it together for as long as you can. Um, I'm gonna go wash my hands and I'll be back. And make sure I'm gonna be still holding this cube when I go. So yeah. You should be able to turn a couple of layers, but apparently mine's not going to do it. So I'm just gonna tell you what happens if you have any layers that are stuck like this. Like you can't turn it. So find the piece that's stuck. So oh okay. Well I just fixed it. That was easy. Kind of. So then you might wanna disassemble the top just to get the super glue off. As you can hear it's a bit more clacky than usual. Yeah, so but I think it feels more crispy actually. Oh here it doesn't. So yeah, if you have any things that are locked up like this can't move it. Find the pieces that are like bandaged. Sometimes it's like this one. It's all three pieces here. Sometimes it's just one or maybe two. But it is all three you usually got to do this. So get a knife or a sticker remover and just. Oh, you hear that click? That was because my sticker remover just broke off some super glue. So just do this bit here to. And yeah, this one's kind of harder. Oh, there you go. And so yeah, you probably should do this with your knife. There you go. Got it working. You probably should do this with your knife, but you know I don't want to. This layer is screwed. Here, just wait till you get that crack and. The sign that is sweet to go with the crack. Oh man, I need a, I'm gonna need a lot of nail polish from River. Oh. Okay, I'll be back. I'll just go get. So I quickly got a butter knife and can try chopping and just doing this movement. Can't see it. That. Ooh, make sure you. Knife doesn't get super glued. If this doesn't work, you might want to get the cap off if you can actually, because I'm pretty sure the cap's not going to come off. Oh, wait. It's because this side's super glued too. Whew, it's pretty hard. Currently, this is pretty bad. Not pretty bad, but like. Super. I put way too much. Don't put too much like me. Like I put that whole pile. It's because it was a wet loop. Oh, sorry, not loop thing. Okay, so let's take these pieces out first because I saw something that I want to fix. Okay, so here, two pieces are stuck together. Just gonna try cut it out. Uh. Oops. Alright. Come on. Oh. Oops. No, 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 no. You don't want super glue on the pieces. Ah, got super glue on it now. 
Luckily it's dried. Okay. So I'll be back when everything's done and sorted out. So I'll be back. So yeah, it worked. So all you need to do is just dis dislocate all the glue that you have. This is my favourite. Um, and then yeah, also where you glued it here and here. Whoa. Okay, sorry. Don't try to dislocate these, or then your cube's gonna fall back into two. So yeah. Um, from what I've seen, on you can obviously do this. It would have gone wrong. Oh man, you could do so much faster. So yeah. Bye guys. Hope you have fun and I'll just get out of this weather. Bye. Also, I'm going to learn how to solve this. Definitely. Bye.